Hi, this is Harvey with Harvey Property Management Group. Today we're going to talk about questions that you should ask your property manager to determine if the value that you're going to receive is worth the price the property manager wants to charge. Warren Buffett says, price is what you pay, value is what you receive. I think it's very important that when you talk to your property manager, you try to ask them open-ended questions. After all, this is an interview. So the first question that I recommend that you ask is, tell me about your property management experience. Lots of property managers will advertise over X years experience or combined X years experience. What you really want to find out is, what does that mean? 10 years experience with a staff of four people could be three people have one year experience and the rest of the experience is with one person or each person could have two and a half years experience. Trust me, a limited amount of experience even though it's combined with others is still a limited amount of experience. It takes quite a long time in property management to gain the on-the-ground experience that's needed to be truly effective in managing your property or properties. A common question we receive is, what is your vacancy rate? While on the surface, vacancy rate sounds like a great question to ask, you need to really understand what a vacancy rate is. That's actually a rate that determines how many units are not occupied. That has nothing to do with how long the tenant remains in your unit. Some property managers can have a low vacancy rate because what they do is they put in the very first warm body who applies and pays them the fee to move into the property or the first month's rent, which of course the property manager then keeps to use as his leasing fee. After that, you may or may not receive any rent. I know a property manager who actually brags about how many turnovers he can get before his clients fire him and move to another property manager. So let's talk about that a minute. You have a vacancy rate, that means that you have no rent coming in, it means you have a turnover cost and a releasing cost. Vacancy rates are very expensive. So perhaps a better question to ask is, what is your renewal rate? When that tenant renews, your only expense is a renewal fee to your property manager. That renewal fee is well worth the cost of savings for turnover, vacancy, and the leasing fee. Another common question that's asked is, how do you screen your tenants? In this day and age with the internet, pretty much all property managers of any quality will do a background screening. It's done through the internet, you get credit reports, you get criminal history reports, you can get eviction records. The next question, of course, is, does the property manager pay attention to them? The next level of tenant screening is prior rental history verifications, income verifications. That's done by most quality property managers. And then the next level, which is done by very few property managers, is debt to income ratio. Do they look at the income or do they look at how much debt that tenant has to pay each month and is there any money left over to pay your rent? The best indication of a quality tenant screening is once again the renewal rate because if the tenant is a good tenant they, will, they are the ones who get renewed. A tenant who's a bad tenant normally has been evicted or moves out on their own. A good question to ask is about communication. So again, open-ended question, ask your property manager, how do you communicate with me? 
What you want to do is you want to find out if they're being proactive or reactive. In other words, do they only communicate with you when you contact them? How long does it take for them to get back with you? That's a good sign of the kind of value that you should be receiving. Now, a proactive communication can be a telephone call, a text message, an email, a mass email, anything that gives you indication that there is information your property manager feels that you need. Obviously, there are a lot of other questions that you can ask. Talk about the transparency. Talk about how often they do inspections. These are more operational questions that may have specific needs of yours that you can satisfy. Don't be afraid to dig deep, ask your property manager uncomfortable questions that make you feel comfortable. After all, it's your money. If you have any questions about these questions or would like more questions, please feel free to give me a call. Thank you.